Today, it's about grinding your teeth. Many people clench their jaws. Bruxism is the technical term. It wears down your teeth. Some of them even break off. And many people wear these so-called dental guards. And since the problem doesn't simply disappear, you need new ones sometimes. And so it feels almost normal to wear them. I'm going to explain the cause of this problem and what you could do against it to mitigate the problem, even to a point where such a guard becomes unnecessary. And this information should put you at ease and stop you from believing that teeth grinding is kind of programmed and that's the way it is. And you might be asking yourself now why so many people suffer from it, and the answer is very simple. Unfortunately, the problems start in your early childhood with your diet, with food cut up too soft so your jaws have nothing to work on. And why do more and more people need retainers to fix their teeth or think they need them? Because their jaw remains too small. If in your childhood too little work is asked of your jaw, it stays too small. Now that's a fact known among dentists, but what's the solution? Now, from a certain moment on, when the jaw is too small, you use retainers because the teeth come out crooked and the retainers try to fix it so it looks nice. In extreme cases, teeth are pulled to fix the problem. But the problem is that the force that the retainer applies to push and redirect the growing teeth in your mouth this external influence, so to speak, is not relaxing the situation. Quite the opposite, tensions increase over time. All these tensions that have been building up in our muscles overnight need to be released. So the lack of chewing work, which is not needed anymore because our food is too soft. People don't bite into big apples or eat hard bread anymore. These underworked muscles work during the night. Not unlike with a restless leg syndrome in the form of jerky jaw motions and grinding teeth to release this energy. If, in a purely mechanical way, we needed to open our mouth to bite into something big and bite down hard, then this would reduce the problem. But we don't do that anymore. There's a reason why we say, you're not opening your mouth. You don't open your mouth if something is wrong on the job. You just clench your jaw and bear it. And so adding your psyche, the emotional element to the physical one, aggravates the problem. And the cause of it, the excessive tensions in the chewing muscles, is ignored. And so the problem is left unsolved and bypassed by making sure that if those tensions simply can't be stopped, you should at least protect your teeth. This way they won't break off or wear down. And that's why people use these night guards. This entire development has gained momentum over the last few years. And dentist friends of mine tell me this is crazy because they have patients who need a break every 10 minutes since they can't keep their mouths open any longer. They can't keep it open wide enough to begin and they can't keep it open long enough because the tensions in their mouth reduce their range of motion and their ability to open their mouth wide. There are two muscles that are mainly involved in this. The one muscle pulls down here. You could feel it back here whenever you chew. Put your finger on it to feel it. And the other one runs from your temple through here. And these muscles have to yield when you want to open your mouth. And as soon as these muscles can't yield anymore, then it's hard for you to open your mouth wide and you enter a vicious cycle that beyond grinding your teeth ends in headaches, it damages your jaw joint, causing pain in this entire area, tension pain, even without movement. 
and pain when you're moving. All this is connected with these tensions. All these problems are pooled under CMD, craniomedibular dysfunction. And a lot is being done to address this problem, but a solution seems far away. But the fact is, the solution is pretty simple. It's obvious. Simply open your mouth. And if that doesn't happen in your daily life anymore, because our food doesn't require it, then you have to do the right exercise. If, if things are too stiff and you can't open your mouth anymore, then you have to open it. It's hard to comprehend and, and almost incredible what's happening here. When you restore functionality here, then a lot of pain will disappear. The feeling of tension, headaches, pain in the neck, shoulders, everything is connected here because it's so close together. All these tensions slowly diminish, and so does the teeth grinding, maybe not only after a couple of exercise sessions. So don't put away the dental guard just yet. Chances are high that you're still grinding your teeth, but if you could see your goal on the horizon, you finally want to know the cause of this problem, that everything is so contracted and under tension. If you know the reason, then you'll know what you have to do about it. Doing the right exercise, that is. And there are some other things that might help you here. Then what developed in a negative direction before this negative feedback loop reverts into something positive and the issues can be dissolved. Your mouth opens wider now. Tensions are reduced. The tensions around your neck dissolve because you've removed the cause. And well, the position of your teeth and the retainers that push your teeth in different directions continue to create a source of ever-increasing tension. Plus, your daily life, the emotional stress in your job, in the family, and everything else that comes up also creates stress. But that stress can be removed through these exercises. What goes in can be taken out again. And if, at the beginning, I exercise a lot and take out more than I put in, you see it's like a funnel. Tension goes into the top and is released through the opening in the bottom. So, if I put in less than I take out, then the total will be reduced and vice versa. That's the negative and positive feedback loop, so the problem can be resolved. It might take some time, but there's a lot you can do. And how can you implement this knowledge that you have to open your mouth wide? I recommend throughout your day, eat things that are big, a big apple, for example, so that you really have to open your mouth wide and then really bite into it. Something most people can't do anymore. Do it like it's a training. Eat bread that might be a bit stale a bit hard, so you need saliva and have to chew more. Can you enlarge your jaw that way? Well, I doubt that because it happened in your childhood, so it's too late. But teeth also need to work. They need to work just like your bones, your muscles. But only a certain amount of work keeps your teeth healthy. Only eating soft food, soup maybe, that doesn't require chewing. It'll make your teeth looser since they don't have to withstand so much anymore. And here, the secret is higher than 8, but under 10 on your personal pain scale, similar to our stretching exercises. Put some stress on them, but don't overstress them, and work on this deliberately. Don't be scared off by bread, as an example, that might be a couple of days old, because you could still eat. It hasn't gone bad. You bite harder and chew more. And that's exactly the work that reduces the jaw clenching during the night. That's the first story. Story number two, do the right exercises. A link will follow shortly. And number three, and we came up with this one on purpose. Now, you might know some of our exercise aids. They help you to facilitate doing these exercises as much as possible. So it's more fun. It's easier to get started. And so that's why we've developed the Jaw Hero. Let me demonstrate this on our buddy here. This is our jaw hero that, just like a hero, saves your jaws because now it has one porcelain section. Well, it's actually two, to be exact. 
that allows you to change its size. And with each day, you can successfully open your mouth a bit wider and the tensions are being dialed down. And if you put it in here, let our buddy here show you again, and you bite on it and apply pressure in this stretched position, you can apply pressure and then let go. So do real work on it, yeah? You could do it while driving, watching TV, everywhere where you don't need to talk. And that's a great opportunity to release all these tensions in here on the fly. And the reward is a more and more relaxed face. And now a little trick. Should you ever be in a situation where a smile is needed and you're rather tense and look more or less grumpy, not so happy and nice, then take the jaw hero, put it in your mouth and start a good stretch. And then try and look grumpy when you take it out again. It's impossible. Why? Through relaxing your chewing muscle, all your facial muscles relax and you simply look nicer, friendlier. And to make sure that you have the right size, you could work on it at the right level of 9.5 on your personal pain scale, which gives you the best effect. You have seven cork sections that can be combined with the two porcelain pieces so that you can produce all opening angles from 35 to 69 millimeters in two millimeter increments. And from my own experience, I could say it's a lot of fun because you're so happy that you could do two millimeters more and that gives you a sense of achievement. If you want more information on this, then please click on the box up here and if you need more exercises for your chewing muscles, then click down here. And all that's left to do is wish you lots of fun with bringing down the tension so that you'll feel increasingly better in and around your jaw. See you in my next video. Ciao.